Waverly Hills in Kentucky. Yeah, wait, wait. You went to the Waverly Hills Sanitarium? Yes. It cost me a hundred and something dollars plus uh, gas and everything. But uh-huh. yes, I did go to Waverly. Did yes. you? You went with a bunch of people? Uh, I went uh, uh, with one of my crew members, uh-huh. and we met up with uh, another crew that was there. It was offered to us. Right. Uh, we were still kind of separate. Uh, Ursula Bielski, uh, people don't know her. She's the author of Chicago Hunts, which uh-huh. is a pretty popular, you know, book around here. Right. And, and we become friends over the years. You know, it's, it's actually kind of cool because I used to read her books when I was a teenager. And uh-huh. here I am actually working alongside her, you know. Yeah, that's uh, so awesome. It was, just, it was really pretty cool, especially being so involved in the field that long. I finally, you know, I was like, oh, she's a celebrity. Like, she's a... <laughs> yeah. And we're cool. Oh, man, you know. Um but, uh, yeah, we went there, and uh, at first it was kind of creepy, and I think one of the things to take away from it was, and this is a lot of times with dealing with any type of case or any type of supposed haunted place, uh, they hype it up. And uh, I might have gotten some recordings of it, but they literally tell us, oh, just last week a crew saw this. Yeah, yeah. The place happened, and I'm like, you, you got people in the group who are like, oh, my God, and me, you know, and my you know my crew, and the, you know me and my one number two-man crew, we're both looking at each other like, oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Not good as in what we're going to get, but, like, they're really hyping this up. So what's going to happen? And sure enough, I walked the halls of Waverly Hills and some areas by myself. Yes, it was a little creepy at times because it's an abandoned insane asylum, but yeah. it was very calm. And I could literally just stay in one spot and not be feared about anything at all. We even went down to the... Uh, what, what you call where they uh, threw the bodies down so they could take them out? Oh, like so, the the, mor- the morgue. Yeah, so uh, they had like a uh, a concrete slab uh, that goes down, you know, probably a hundred feet or so. They slid the bodies down it, Jeez. and there's a gate down there. And it was creepy at first, you know, but we went down there and it was like we could just chill here. So I smoked a cigarette <laughs> <You know? laughs> because it, it was a, you know there's a gate that opens up to the outside. So I was like, this is a perfect time to smoke a cigarette, you know. Yeah. And uh, there was a couple times where we were on one of the floors. I was like, you could really throw a mad rave up in here. That's like my thoughts. You know? I'm over there hunting ghosts, and I'm over here like having a good time, kind yeah. of just chilling. And uh, long story short, though, uh, we didn't find any ghosts. There was uh, They turned the place into a haunted attraction during Halloween. So there's there's a lot of other things going yeah. on there. And I was wondering to myself, like, well, well, how much you, is this is created? You, you know, you know more better than anyone, uh, Justin. Is like the the paranormal works on its own schedule. Exactly. There's no, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. You you could go to this place is super haunted, and you could go there fifty times, and exactly. get, I'd get nothing. 